concept of abundance and how you relate to the concept of abundance. Are you familiar with our definition of abundance? Abundance. abundance. The ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it. Period. Did you hear anything in that definition that said anything about money? No. Did you hear anything in that definition that said anything about any particular way in which the abundance had to come? No. The ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it. That's abundance. Period. Period. Now, it can come in the form of money. But we understand that on your planet very often you are trained to think that money is the only representation of abundance. And when you have a definition that focuses you on money being the only doorway through which abundance can come, then you're actually closing and locking all the other doorways through which the ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it could actually come to you because you refuse to identify or label those things equally as abundant as money. You follow me? Follow me? Follow me? Follow me? Follow me? When you allow all manner of abundance to be equal and equally valid, then whatever is the way that is the path of least resistance can come to you, be it money, be it someone gifting you something, being it that you simply synchronistically happen across a circumstance that allows you to do what you need to do, be it any way that it may come. Then when they're all equal, the one that is the path of least resistance can flow to you without resistance because you are allowing it not to have a specialness that singles it out and focuses an undue amount of energy on that particular way needing to be the way to manifest your abundance. Does that make sense? Yes. And so? itself the faster it will go that's the paradox the more you're all right with the process itself of discovering what your beliefs are as an act unto itself that's worth having the faster it will go because the faster you will be using it up by staying right with it by being excited about having that process so that in and of itself is an art form. The first art form to master is simply being here and now with what is happening. Trusting that what is happening is happening for a reason. Otherwise it wouldn't be happening. So if you are willing to accept that whatever part of the process is happening, is happening for the purpose of putting you in touch with more of yourself so that you can expand and get that reflection back from reality of your expansion then you will be excited about anything the process has to show you it will actually be experienced as a piece of performance art and by getting into it and diving into it and being the performance artist and the art piece itself then 
you will allow it to move very rapidly through you, to process very rapidly, because you're willing to accept everything that's happening as necessary, as a part of the piece, as a part of the art, as something to look at, as something to investigate, as something that will increase your understanding of who and what you are as a co-creator. If you look at it that way and stay in that energy, believe me, very quickly, you will explode in many different directions and your reality will explode for you with many different things that will support you. Does that make sense? Very much so. Mm -hmm. Does that help? Yeah, it helps. Yes, that's great. Does it answer your question? Yes.